Have you ever driven next to a truck and noticed that one or even two of its axles are floating above the ground and wondered why that happens? Why aren't all the wheels touching the ground? Don't worry, in this video we'll explain why some truck tires don't always touch the ground. We'll also teach you a bit about how truck axles work, the types of axles they have, and how these determine what a truck can or cannot do. Let's start by explaining how a truck's axles work. An axle is a rod that connects two wheels and supports the weight of a vehicle. Axles are essential components of any vehicle, including trucks, and they are connected to the wheels through bearings. When the engine turns the transmission, the transmission turns the drive shaft, which then turns the differential, and in turn, the axles. The axles then rotate the wheels, moving the vehicle forward or backward. There are two main types of truck axles. Steering axles are located at the front of the truck and allow the driver to steer the vehicle, or at the rear to create a tighter turning radius. Drive axles, on the other hand, are located at the rear of the truck and provide power to the wheels, or in the front in the case of all-wheel drive. In addition to steering and drive axles, there are two other types of axles found on some trucks. Support axles, located at the rear of the tractor, providing extra support for heavy loads, and lift axles, often placed between the drive axles and can be raised or lowered to improve fuel efficiency or traction. But what's the point of driving with an axle that isn't in contact with the ground? Well, there are several reasons for this. Better grip and traction. Lift axles can be lowered when the truck is fully loaded, distributing the weight more evenly among the axles. This increase in weight on the tires improves traction and grip, especially in adverse weather conditions such as rain, snow, or ice. For example, Volvo has a tandem axle lift feature to enhance grip when needed. Ground pressure. When a truck is fully loaded, it can exert significant pressure on the road surface, causing damage or sinking into softer terrain. By lowering the axle to distribute the weight across multiple axles, the total weight is spread more evenly, reducing ground pressure and minimizing road wear. Load adjustments. Lift axles allow truck drivers to adjust the load distribution. This is particularly important for complying with weight regulations since different jurisdictions have specific limits on axle weights. By raising or lowering lift axles, the driver can ensure that the load is evenly distributed within legal limits. Fuel efficiency. Using additional axles on a truck consumes more fuel due to increased rolling resistance. Raising the axles when they're not needed, such as when the truck is empty or carrying a light load, can improve fuel efficiency, reducing operational costs, and minimizing environmental impact. Legal regulations. Lift axles play a crucial role in complying with weight regulations imposed by local authorities. Overloaded vehicles can incur fines and raising or lowering the axles allows drivers to adjust their truck's configuration to stay within legal weight limits. Maintenance and Costs Lift axles, like any other component, experience wear over time. However, by raising them when not in use, mileage and strain on these axles are reduced, extending their lifespan. This leads to lower maintenance costs and less frequent repairs. Tires also wear out less since they're not in contact with the road. Safety When a truck is fully loaded, additional axles provide more braking power because more tires are in contact with the road surface. This means the truck can stop more effectively and efficiently, reducing the risk of accidents caused by insufficient braking. Lift axles, when lowered, increase the truck's stability, especially when cornering or during sudden maneuvers. The extra tires help distribute the weight evenly and provide better grip, reducing the likelihood of rollovers or loss of control. Lift axles are generally connected to the truck's air suspension system and can be controlled via a switch in the truck's cab. When the switch is activated, air is pumped into the airbags, raising the axle. When the switch is deactivated, the airbags deflate, lowering the axle. The axle is raised when the truck is empty or carrying a light load, improving fuel efficiency by reducing friction between the tires and the road. The axle is lowered when trucks carry a full load, improving stability and handling by increasing the weight distribution across the vehicle's axles. Lift axles are commonly used in long-haul trucks, dump trucks, and construction vehicles. So why don't the tires of some trucks touch the ground? Because some trucks have lift axles that allow an axle to be raised when it's not needed. 
This saves fuel and reduces tire wear when the truck is driving empty or with light loads. When the truck needs to carry more weight, the axles can be lowered to reduce ground pressure. By lowering the axles, trucks can legally carry more weight while still complying with current regulations, improving road grip and increasing safety. Therefore, an additional lift axle can be a versatile aid for a truck that drives with variable loads. We hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content about trucks and other road beasts. See you soon.